Are you drowning in charts? Let me show you how to do a multi time frame top down analysis uh, and build yourself a workspace so that you can flip through multiple securities quickly and get yourself a nice directional bias for the day uh, as you or, or as your pre market prep work. Okay, let me show you how to build this. So first, we're going to go to our, uh, our command center here, we're going to go new chart. And we're gonna do, we're gonna load uh, an ES, just a base chart. I actually have a template here called clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and load that. And this, all this does just sets me up a nice daily chart right here. Uh, basic, clean, nothing fancy, nothing really new on it. So what we're gonna do is we're going to build out four of these, okay? So I gotta switch this to uh, give me this, this grid on here. So we're going to go right click, duplicate in new window. There's chart number two. Okay. Now we're going to do that two more times. All right. Oh, we'll slide this over just a little bit. All right. One more time. Duplicate in new window. Okay. So now we've got our quad screen here is what I like to call this. All right. So now uh, we left some room over here, some margin over here for our hot list um, that I like to just use. So here's new go to market analyzer uh, and pop one of those open. Here's a new one right here. Uh, and then we'll just squeeze this down a little bit. Uh, we can't squeeze anymore. All right. So we'll just go like that. And like that. All right. So now we're going to customize this. We'll add some instruments. Uh, let's go to futures, select all, and you got all your futures contracts in here. You can throw your your um, uh, your forex in here. You can throw your bonds in here. You can throw whatever it is you're trading in here that you want to flip through multiple time frames uh, and analyze. Uh, put them right in here. Okay. So we got all that done. All right. So now what are the time frames? So the time frames that I like. Uh, that I use, uh, as you saw from part one of this video, uh, is I like a weekly, I like a daily, I like a 60 minute, and I like a 15 minute. And I want to see how all of these kind of uh, perspectives uh, relate to one another. Okay, so real quick, just just off the top of my head here, uh, I want to know what is the daily buy? What's my weekly bias? Well, we have a nice bull run here, right? We have a nice big bull run here. We close above, we close, we fail to close above and we rotate around. Okay. So we are bullish on the weekly, uh, with the, um, uh, understanding that we are compressing and potentially rotating down at a bare minimum going sideways for at least a period of time. Uh, we have not broken, uh, really any structure other than on the daily we broke yeah the the last day of the year this is the first day of the year uh, um, daily right here okay so bull run uh, with the with acknowledging that we're slowing down right we're maybe maybe getting a little bit maxed out okay you got 4850 over here you got some targets here and here to work with so there's still some room to the upside but we could be rotating to the downside okay got it Let's go to the daily. What do we see on the daily? What is my bias on the daily? Okay, bull run, bull run, right? Here's one leg, pull back, another leg, sideways run. Uh, these legs are getting smaller and smaller. As you see, boom, pull back, small little run here, rotating and compressing candles around. We have not broken structure here. Here's a structure break that you're gonna wanna mark off on your chart right here. So if price rips through here, you know that you have now broken that uptrend, okay? And so now what we wanna look at is now we wanna go down to the hourly. So what do we have on the hourly? And on the hourly, you're gonna to have to uh, add a few more days in here because when you flip from uh, a daily to a minute chart, it cuts off your days. And I don't know why it does that, but that's just a ninja uh, trader thing. So you just gotta add a little bit more data on your smaller time frames. Okay, so now you got bullish, bullish, compression, rotation, uh, or at least sideways action. Here's that sideways action. Here's what that looks like uh, on the hourly, bam, right through here. So now you can mark off some levels in here that you think are relevant, and you can mark those off here 
and here and flow through and you can analyze this bullish uptrend rotating around you can up and you can analyze the rotation around okay so now we want to link all of these together right you've got weekly daily 60 minute uh 15 minute now to flip through here and you want to check out the russell 2000 for instance okay so let's go to uh not the interval link but the instrument link and you want to go to let's just make them all gold okay let's make all of these gold gold good as gold all right and we're gonna um so now instead of analyzing the uh, s p 500 now you want to analyze let's say uh let's just go with the russell 2000 okay so now we're going to rotate all of our charts are going to go at once uh, as soon as my internet decides it wants to kick in <laughs> and then we can analyze uh, the russell 2000 instead and you can see the charts forming here and we have completely gone another direction we got this chopping sideways action on the long-term chart uh, and you can see it on the daily we're rotating around kind of a little bit similar thing um, and we you can analyze this downtrend pullback downtrend pullback downtrend and you can analyze this on the on the micro level as well and mark off these gaps and these swing highs and swing lows and play those fade those uh, break out those whatever it is that you are doing in your daily trading but this can give you a great perspective of multiple time frames at once through multiple securities and give you some great quick flip through analysis for you to make some notes off of uh, and be uh, relatively dangerous at knowing which direction the price wants to go in the marketplace from long term down to the micro view okay so i hope that was helpful and here is how uh, you save this as a workspace. So go over to your workspaces. I'm right now on a new one, Untitled 2. Uh, just go Save As. And you're going to save this as a name. And I just want to put this at my uh, as my quad screen. Multi-time. And then save that and then you could now you've got that as a workspace so as you're doing your post-market analysis wrapping up for the day or doing your pre-market uh, in the morning you can assess um, all the different securities that you trade uh, by all four of these different time frames and beyond if you want to change them you can but that's the that's the baseline that I start with so I hope that was helpful uh, that's how I like to analyze uh, analyze uh, multiple time frames and multiple securities and get a good sense and feel for the bias and direction of the day so thanks for watching if you like this and you want access to the tools check out ninjacators fast track with the link below